For many years, we collected all the experience from the many museums in which we're already present, and we've now designed an entirely new range of lights, especially and exclusively designed for the highest precision in museum lighting, lighting with the highest possible quality. Bavarian National Museum has a variation of exhibits from sculptures, the mirrors, paintings, um, weapons. Together with the architect, we could bring out the best. We had a mix of tools, so we always had the right solution to any problem which occurred. We offer with our optics and our technology some very distinct tasks that are also of great benefit for precision lighting in museums. Tuning the light beam for the frame, for the painting on the wall, when the wall is uh, almost white and it has to be this color because it was built like that and it's a historical building. But at the same time, the, the, uh, the painting is pretty dark and it has to be brought up. If you need the cleanest light and shadow shaping, then these attachments offer perfect and easy to use solutions. The aforementioned version of these images, which incorporates the shutter blades, can be used to perform razor sharp light and shadow shapes. Craft work. Uh, you go there, you do the, the job, you have the right tool for doing this job, and uh, the results afterwards is uh, uh, stunning. This gives you the, the even light distribution. This is just moving the string here. For critical, demanding, precision lighting purposes, this can be a good, practical and easy to perform solution. We opened doors in the Hermitage, not because um, we did Museo d'Orsay or we did the National Museum, but we had the right solution, the right tools to create a totally di different atmosphere. Many research institutes of museums or cultural ministries tested our lights and they all agreed that the UV content of our lights most probably the lowest of any light source worldwide and therefore it was easy to regard it as safe regarding the dangers of ultraviolet. <laughs>